what is up everybody welcome back to pokey charles we are back and we are actually going to open up one of these uh special collection boxes i wanted to keep a few sealed um but a, a guy jason had ordered this from me and i forgot if you guys remember a long time ago when we opened it the last one was like literally bent all the way up top here so I wanted to pull it to ship it to him. I'd forgotten about that. So it was the last one I had. So I was just going to open it up to get that out for him. So, but this is actually a really cool set. Like I said, I've got uh, two more of them. I just want to keep them sealed because these are already hard to find. Um, but that's what we're going to be opening today. And then, uh, oh shoot. What was I going to say? Oh well, probably nothing important. Just more rambling. But we're glad to be back. Everything's moving uh, quite good in the state of Florida, I guess you could say. Like everything's kind of uh, starting to reopen a little bit. Um, the people who pre-ordered Hidden Fates tents, hopefully I'll be getting an email anytime now with tracking information for me to get to me. And then for me, I'll be reaching out to you guys to get it in your hands ASAP. So without further ado, this... Uh, Pikachu EV set obviously comes with these four promo cards. Four cards, if you will. And it also comes with the giant SM232 Pikachu GX. And then it comes with, what did we get? We got Steam Siege, Cosmic Eclipse, Cosmic Eclipse, and Unified Minds. All right. And we are going to do another giveaway. And this time I'm going to remember to say this to begin with. If you don't live in the States, you are more than welcome to still participate in the giveaway. But the last two I've sent have been totally bust. Um, one person had to pay uh, whatever import fees or whatever. So basically, long story short, the, the best way to do it is like, let's just say I do, well, let's just use this $5 pack, right? So if I give away this $5 pack, if you're out of the country, you'll get a $5 gift card. Um, so like I can log on to a store that's near you guys and ship it to you under, you know, pay for it under us and ship it to you or Amazon or whatever's easier. But that way you guys can still compete. And I know it's not the actual material item, but at least it'll get you something in the Pokemon world. So, um, but we're going to, we're going to do that in tomorrow's video. We're going to launch a giveaway. And I think, um, what I wanted to talk to you guys about is that in your opinions, um, the PokeCharles.com site, I'm having a lot of issues with ShipStation. That's who I use as a middleman to link my eBay and Shopify. And I'm having big issues with it not wanting to transfer things. So meaning that sometimes if someone buys it on Shopify, it's not taking it out of stock like it's supposed to on eBay and vice versa. So my question to you guys is, is that do you think that maybe for the PokeCharles.com site, I need to, well, first thing I'm going to do is remove where it says out of stock. Um, so not, you don't have pages of everything that just says they're out of stock. But what I want to do is keep it for PSA cards and sealed items. And maybe just sell the singles on eBay. And I wanted to get your guys' take on that. Because I have a lot of sealed stuff and PSA stuff that I haven't even listed yet. And when I got to do it the other day, I was talking to Katie. I was like, it might be better just to keep that as all sealed stuff. Because it's, then it's also a lot easier, too, because then that way I won't have a lot of stuff crossing as far as little cards that can create errors in inventory. But I don't know, it's just something I was thinking about wanting to get your guys' take on it. But I definitely want to do, um, I'm probably going to do a uh, a couple of Cosmic Eclipse things. Well, I don't know. I guess what I'll do is I'll, uh, we'll list in tomorrow's video, we'll pick three or four things and a couple winners, and then they can choose what item that they want. Or what we'll do is... Uh, that's what we'll do. Tomorrow's video, we'll put up the items. You guys vote which item that you want to be done for the giveaway. And whoever gets the most votes, item-wise, on tomorrow's video will be what we do the giveaway on. There we go. See? Made it up on the fly. Look at that. Almost like I know what I'm talking about sometimes. Roller skater! Ooh, ooh, way lord. Let's see. And so the I did not get any of the the new stuff. Um, 
I didn't order anything from my distributor because obviously I ordered, I think I ended up ordering 40 cases of Hidden Fates. But I did, um, I wanted to let you guys know, you probably already see it. Anything XY and basically black and white or before, well, basically all Pokemon right now is a huge price spike. So please, please, please be careful with what, oh, well, I did that wrong. Ah. Please be careful with what you buy. If you have any questions, please let me know because everything is super, super expensive right now. Hold on to all your stuff if you think it's worth anything. If you have any questions, let me know. But um, I ordered a whole bunch of booster boxes from him. He still had some XY booster boxes, so I ordered a couple of those um, just to have in my collection. Uh, but yeah, booster boxes and ETBs are kind of your two bread and butters, if you will. And the other thing is, is that PSA is doing a quarterly special at $7.50 a card for Pokemon cards. So probably what I'm going to start doing is become an outlet for you guys if you need PSA cards. So I do like, I'll have to just figure out the math or whatever. But if you guys have any PSA cards, I'll be more than happy to send them off to you. And what I'll do this week is um, show you guys a video of basically how a submission works. And, you know, it's like, hey, if I'm submitting the same card you're submitting, how do they know the difference? So it'll answer all those questions. I think it's really cool, um, you know, because PSA does a great job. And uh, I think it's important to get some of those cards that you guys have in really con condition to get them graded as, as cheaply as you can and as fast as you can. Um, let's see. I think that was it for today. It's not very many cool packs. But let me see if I have a code. I think I already did the code. Yep. I already did that code card. So exciting week this week. We're definitely glad to be back. Hopefully things continue to get to normal. If you guys need anything, let us know. And so tomorrow's giveaway, we're going to announce. We'll have the items that uh, will be uh, able to be won in the giveaway. And then you guys comment. What we'll do is we'll pick, you know, two or three items out of the items we show. And the top two or three will be the ones that the winners can then choose from. And, uh, yeah, and just let us know what you think about the, uh, the store and, uh, we'll go from there and probably part of the giveaway is going to be the last couple ones of these. Um, I sent one out to Sakura again today because hers first one got lost in the mail. It's still showing that it's in the next town over. So, and if you guys start getting packs from me from now on used to, I would just bubble mail these. So, but what I'm doing is I'm wrapping them in a huge bubble mailer and then sleeving them in a shipping sleeve. So they're like, they're like this big. So then that way they can't get lost, like triples the size of it. But anyways, guys, talk to you later. Thanks.